tip you guys it's only a few hours till the new year and we're gonna start it off with a shot of dayquil cheers so if you guys don't know over the weekend i started getting sick and i think now it's not a full-blown flu i think it's a minor cold right now because i have the weird throat thing going off some coughs and some runny nose did half a serving because later I'm going to take NyQuil and pass out. But yeah, I'm going to do my final, final dinner at BJ's. And yeah, this is going to be it before tomorrow when the 90 day journey, the cutting journey starts again. And as you all know, you guys can cut with me or watch my journey. <laughs> What's up you guys, we just got to BJ's. It's a brew house and restaurant, so yeah. All right you guys, so they have a wide variety of beers if you're over 21. So I'm gonna try the mango, uh, where is it? I'm gonna try the Anchor's Mango Wheat. And I got my beer. Cheers, you guys. No! Enjoying this moment while I can. And later, I'm gonna regret not eating all this food when I'm on low macros. <laughs> Jalapeno with BJ's favorite, which is like their supreme pizza with jalapeno. And then I got some buffalo, hot buffalo with ranch on the side. So yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this. It's gonna be super good. The final dessert till tomorrow. So this is a white chocolate chip pizuki. It's hot and it's yummy. We're gonna take the first bite. Gotta get some of this, more ice cream. Oh, it gets melty. teeth doing initial weigh-in for day one as you saw yesterday I had my final supper but you know if, if it's your macros it's what I follow but yeah I wanted to get that pizuki in beers pizza everything I want before today All right, so I am going to do this the same way in just my underwear so this is the weight Okay, first weigh-in, 152.6, day one. Right now, we're gonna do the before pictures. I'm gonna do a front, side, and back. And then I'm gonna do some kind of before video. So yeah, if you guys are gonna do this, I highly recommend tracking your progress at least once a week for, once a week to every two weeks. So you can see what changes you guys make. What's up you guys, we just did the before Relax pictures, the before flex pictures, and I also went above and beyond and did some before videos. And yeah, after reviewing the pictures and just this normal angle straight on with this bright light, not natty lighting, I was just like, I'm very motivated and I need to tell 
future Grace who, when she is starting the cut, wants to cheat and stuff like that, that you cannot, cannot cheat. This is just 90 days. I have to remember that this is a temporary moment of time, January to the end of March, that we do this. After this, not that I want to just let go of myself, but I just want to be a new person and show myself that I'm disciplined enough to do this and accomplish this. So yeah, we'll see where we get in the next 90 days. Alright you guys, so I usually intermittent fast, but I am sick and I need to take Dayquil and I need it to kind of stay in my system. And because I have an ileostomy, which means I don't have a colon, I have an ostomy bag, food and liquid just runs through me. So to get that medicine in me a bit longer, I'm going to make waffles. Um, so when I eat food, food stays in me better. So these are uh, buttermilk protein pancake mixes made with chia and hemp. So I'm gonna do, let's see, two servings of this and share it, so yeah. First thing I'm gonna do is pour in the mix. And I already know how many grams I need, 116 grams. Oh, darn. I'm three grams off, but whatever. It's not all going to come out anyway when I get it out of the bowl. And then I also need one or half a cup of almond milk and then two egg whites. I'm just going to put the egg whites of two eggs in there. Where did the other egg go? It's behind here. I'm just going to separate it, like, by juggling it. Oh, I already almost put some yolk in there. We're gonna do that. Typically, I would just use egg whites in an egg white container, but we don't have any that's not rotten, so <laughs> I need to buy more of those. Okay, next thing I'm gonna do is whisk it, and I'm gonna slowly add in the almond milk. I'm just following the directions. I'm doing everything right, except I'm not adding the oil that it asked for, because that will take a lot of my fats getting milk all over my camera. That's what it's looking like. So I'm just gonna keep mixing it. All right, so I made two servings, but I only can have one serving, so I am just gonna eat the other one later in life. So, um, yeah, we're gonna pour it in here, and you do two minutes on one side, one minute on the other. I don't know, maybe I could just measure one serving and eat the other one later. I think I'll just save this other one for another day. <laughs> All right, the moment of truth. Let's see if we mess this up. Oh, it actually turned out really nice, even without the uh, oil. So there is my waffle. I wonder how hot this is. Ooh. There you go, a really macro-friendly, healthy protein waffle. So I couldn't find my Walden Farm syrup, you guys, so we're eating this plain ass waffle like this. It's so dry. It tastes like a waffle cone. It's dry without the syrup. Okay, guys, so I'm going to start taking creatine starting the day. I've been slacking on it, so um, I recommend 5 grams of creatine monohydrate a day. This is just in a tablet or a capsule. Because I don't like taking my drink because it tastes very, like, sandy. It doesn't taste good at all. It tastes like nothing, actually. So we're going to take four of these. And then we're going to take one multivitamin. And, yeah. So that's going to start us off in the morning. And we just ate that dry waffle. Like, waffles are terrible without syrup. That's, like, what makes the waffle or some kind of, like, topping on there. Like, a creamy topping like yogurt or something. So yeah, take two at a time. Oh shoot, just drop one. Dang it. <sighs> Alright, so I never take multivitamins on an empty stomach because I get really nauseous. 
And I think it's because of all the vitamins in there. But cheers to you if you can do that with an empty stomach. Okay, so now we're gonna make our pre-workout and head to the gym. All right, you guys, we're gonna make our pre-workout. We got the regular C4, because I got it from Costco. We got high volume, a non-stimulant uh, pump product. Alright guys, we just got to the gym, got front row parking, which is rare, and um, I didn't vlog for a while because I needed to charge my camera battery, but now we're back in action. Uh, I go to Lifetime, so yeah. Hopefully the gym's not too busy because it is New Year's and everyone's New Year's resolutions, but yeah. And today is also an upper day, so I'm gonna show you a few clips of the workout. Oh baby, I love your madness It's so incredibly beautiful oh, You shine like gold So selfless to all And wild like an animal oh. Some would say I'm insane in the right in a way But I just love to play in your fun and First cardio session almost done. Got like two minutes and change left. Uh, and I'm at level five. I used to remember when I would be on level 12 for like 35 minutes and burn like 400 plus calories. But we all start somewhere, so we'll see what happens in the next 90 days. salsa, fajita veggies, and I got lemons on the side um, to add some more flavor, and then I'm going to eat it with some Tabasco sauces, and uh, these are zero calories. So yeah, that's meal number two, I guess, and I'll put the macros on the screen. We just finished Chipotle. I killed it. There was not a single grain of rice left, and it's weird because I feel full, but like I'm used to feeling really full, but yeah, I'm very content now. And what time is it? It's like 
Uh, 3.41 and going to Ikea now. It's going to be a long day today. We're going to Ikea for something that has to do with kind of like YouTube and stuff like that. But I'll show you guys why later. Guys, we just got to Ikea. We're going to look around. Um, I kind of know what I want. So... Um, we're just gonna get to the point of what we're here for. My dream kitchen, you guys. Sad thing about Ikea, you guys, I usually go to the food court and get ice cream or whatever, but not today, because we are kind of dieting. Even though it's flexible dieting, but saving my good macros for end of the night. So after you go through the map of the samples, like they put all the uh, examples of how you could do the furniture, then you go downstairs where you get what you want and they have like kitchen stuff and everything and then you actually grab what you want and put it in your cart and then check out. Right, you guys, we got the hoe cam. This is what we need. Oh, this is home about to make dinner I'm going to be making fettuccine alfredo with that uh, alfredo sauce we bought I'm gonna start making also chicken breasts and what I like to do is I like to pound them down pretty flat and I like to cook them on my cast iron skillets and I'll show you guys the process all right you get your chicken breasts, and I used to half my chicken breasts, but I don't anymore ever since I uh, learned how to cook them whole and grate this way. First thing I'm going to do is cut off all the excess fat. Cut the chicken breasts, I'm going to put some plastic wrap on this, and I am going to hammer this down until it's pretty much the same height all around, because if you can see... Right here is kind of high and then it goes low here, so I'm going to basically start pounding it. Alright, so one done, a lot more to go, and then before I put it on my cast iron skillet, I'm going to salt it and pepper it. Alright you guys, these are pounded down to even sizes, so now I got some sea salt, I'm going to just put it on evenly on all sides and then we got some black pepper same thing just a good even amount and then we're gonna flip it and do the same thing again and then I have my cast iron skillets heating up on medium high heat and then when it gets really really hot I'm going to add the chicken Luckily here, I'm going to boil it and I basically just kind of poke at it every once in a while with a fork to see if, how done it is. And here we got some water that's boiling so we can boil uh, the pasta right here that I already pre-weighed and measured. And it's this whole grain pasta. Just got the whole grain to hopefully keep me satiated longer. And yeah, so we're going to do this. Alright, so now the pan is getting hot. You can see a little smoke coming out of them. That's what you want. So we're going to start putting these on here. You want to hear that sizzle. I think it's a bit too, yep. There you go. And the big one right here. And I'm going to set a timer for five minutes to begin with. I just flip one over and look how pretty that looks. Flip another one over. And I flip this big one over. All right. This is how the chicken breast turned out, you guys, and I'm gonna let it sit for the next 10 minutes. The broccoli is, oh, is also done. I can't even talk. And here it is. 
All right, you guys, we had a sh crap ton of macros left. I still have more to eat after this, but here's a serving of a half, serving and a half of the noodles. I got eight ounces of chicken. It's really good. Um, broccoli, and then I have, nope, that's it. And then two servings of the Alfredo sauce. And then for the rest of the chicken, I may eat it with some of these, this uh, sweet baby rays. Okay guys, I'm adding some Sara Lee 45 calorie bread. I put half a serving of this Sweet Baby Rays. I'm gonna spray some of this, uh, can't believe it's not butter spray, zero calories. That's if you don't use a crap ton of sprays. And yeah. Believe it or not, you guys, I can fit one slice of BJ's classic favorite, just one. And then one serving of these veggie sticks that I got from Costco. And I think that's going to finish up the rest of the macros. So pretty much, you guys, our macros are on the dot. Um, 53 fat, 250 carb, 129 protein, but I didn't finish all the chicken breasts. I finished like 90-something percent of it, so protein's probably at like 125. Um, which is fine because my goal, I think, was uh, 125. Let me double-check. Yeah, well, actually, my goal for protein was 123, so that's perfect. And, yeah, and now I am about to take an airborne because I'm starting to feel better today. But I still don't know if I have the cold, so I'm about to mix up one of these babies. Look like this. And now we're going to break this apart. I break it in half, make it see if it burns a little more or uh dissolves faster but you let it sit for like a minute till this is all dissolved and then we're gonna drink it up overall i think today went great um yeah i had a lot of calories at night i believe i had to finish like a, oh, like a thousand calories and yeah I'm, I'm full i'm satisfied so i don't really feel right now like i'm on a diet but it is only week one day one so yeah and uh today I did my first session of that cardio which wasn't too bad but also the level i was on wasn't the hardest that i've ever been on and yeah today's been a very productive day and now I'm about to bring in that thing that i bought from ikea upstairs and yeah that project probably won't be done for a little while and but i'll show you guys the results once it is complete so if you like the video please like the video subscribe if you're new to the channel and for those of you who don't know my new series is called change your life and it's following me on my 90 day journey to get shredded so yeah for the next 90 days we're going to be cutting so if you like recipe videos, if you like, you know, to follow someone who's dieting, maybe you're dieting, subscribe to the channel and there's going to be more content to come. And I'll see you guys on the next one.